guys, welcome back to the Coco channel and to another Sunday fun day haul. Um, let's start with the elephant in the room. I haven't uploaded a video in weeks. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat, I kind of dove into the story of, you know, just a lot of personal things going on that I don't want to bring here and I just was not in a good spot to film. I'm definitely a person who is very transparent. Like, if something's wrong with me, you know. Um, I don't, like, hide it or mask it very well. And so, um, I just wanted to kind of go on a little bit of a hiatus, which is pretty hilarious, considering I was just telling you guys how I can't imagine my life without YouTube, and I would always upload videos and everything, which is true still, but I just needed a little bit of time. Um, as more time goes on, you guys will find out. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. I do want to do my top 10 and my weekly wish, we, we, week, we wish, wished, um, weekly wish list. Uh, this video is going to be interesting to see how much I mess up because I haven't sat down to film in so long. So let's go ahead and get started. So a, a couple of things that I have that we're going to start off with are actually not makeup. Um, they're two gifts from my parents that I thought were super cute. Uh, we have this store here called At Home, which is a giant warehouse and it's all for interior design and decor. And they do have like seasonal things too, like but still doing with decor like Halloween and Christmas and um, they have patio so it's like inside outside both decor and so anyway long story short um, but my mom picked out this frame and it was for here in my office which I think is so cute and so me and so since she picked out a floral frame my dad wanted to pick out something so he picked out a beautiful notebook um, it's just very plain but I love it and again floral which is totally my style so wanted to share those with you and maybe you have a at home store near you that you can definitely check out um, another thing that I picked up uh, like months ago um, near us we have uh, I think it's called the Christian outlet Christian book outlet center I don't know um, but unfortunately they're all going out of business which totally sucks and so um, they were having like a huge clearance event and so my mom and I went in there and tried to spend as much money as we could kind of just because it's just so sad that they're going out of business and so we bought like a ton of stuff for Aiden like veggie tales and you know what I mean uh, movies and little shirts and clothes Shirts and clothes are the same thing, and toys and stuff like that. And so we picked up a couple things uh, for ourselves, and I got a couple of books. But this was something that I was really excited about. I actually picked one up for Nessa as well, and it's this long Y chain. And they had different colored ones. I got the clear one, and on the back it says Believe. And so I just absolutely love this, especially now that we are going back to church and stuff. Like, I don't know, I just feel really, really good about it. Um, you guys know I'm not too preachy here on my channel. It's no secret that I'm a Christian, um, but you know, I try not to shove it down your guys' throat. But, anyways, I was really excited about this. It was a really good deal, it was beautiful, and still so sad that they're going out of business. Um, something else random that I picked up a really long time ago. Uh, this is from the brand Chloe and Ollie, and I found these, I believe, at like Ross or something like that, like a store similar to that. And I actually picked one of these up for Michelle as well. And these are detoxifying foot pads. Um, I got the scent Coconut. And I can't remember what I got her. But anyways, you're supposed to place them on the bottom of your feet. And it's supposed to cleanse, rejuvenate, and strengthen your body while you sleep. Um, convenient and easy to use. Helps relieve chronic pain in joints and muscles. Improves metabolism for more energy. All natural ingredients. And it flushes out harmful metals and toxins so i was really uh intrigued by this just because that's like a lot of claims and it was only five dollars and you get 10 of them so i'm anxious to try this i'll let you guys know maybe i should do like a video on these and just see okay next couple of things i have been wanting to try for a really really long time and i had to place an order on ulta to get some more lotion for my son um he uses a specific one it's called Shea. it's by Shea moisture but it's for babies and it's for like eczema and stuff anyways since i was on there it was like a couple days after the um brand ella and mila 
dropped. <laughs> dropped, that sounds so stupid. Uh, but I picked up three polishes and I did pick up the nail polish remover. My whole reasoning behind this is because I was out of nail polish remover anyway and I just gave myself a green light for three polishes. Trust me, I had like 20 in my cart because they have like a certain amount. They only have like, I think I wanna say five or four collections. And then, you know, however many polishes in each collection. It's not like they have like a whole like SE or OPI if you go on there and it just like drop down bar of like hundreds of colors. You know what I mean? It's like in collections. And so um, I have tried this already and I'm not the biggest fan of it. But the reason is because I've been using my HK Girl and even my, do you guys remember when I used to use those pads? Um, that had like essential oils in it and it was like super great for your cuticles. I don't know what it is about HK Girl, like whatever's in it, it's like tough. And so the soy polish doesn't get rid of it, but I'm willing to try it with a different top coat. I'm willing to buy the other top coat, we'll see. So it doesn't work great, but if you don't use the HK Girl, it's very gentle and it's not like overwhelming. It doesn't have all the chemicals that like acetone and stuff has in it. Um, it has a lavender in it. So it's supposed to be really, really good for your hands. And my cuticles are struggling and that's probably one of the reasons why I would transfer uh, top coats, even though I love my HK Girl more than life itself. Um, and then I did pick up three polishes. Like I said, the first one is from the Elite Collection. Obviously, everything's going to be linked down below. Um, and this is called London Fog. For obvious reasons, I had to get this one. Number one, the color is really pretty. It's a gray, dusty color um, with like a tint of brown in it almost. It's really, really pretty. Uh, I feel like that's going to be perfect for fall. Um, I got the color because I'm happy. Um, I wore this a couple weeks ago and it lasts, these polishes have actually lasted quite a decent amount of time and it's a bright orange which is perfect for summer and <gasps> Brittany's favorite holiday, Halloween. Yes, I just referred to myself in the third person. <laughs> I have an eyelash on my eye. And then the last color I got, I told you guys about today. Oh, did I tell you uh, this? Cause I'm Happy col uh, color is from the Samba collection. And then the last color I got is from the Bon Bon collection. And this is called Midnight in Paris. And I'm actually wearing this right now. It is the most beautiful color ever. Um, it's definitely on the sheer side, which typically I'm not for because... A lot of times my nails are stained from previous colors. I never not have polish on my fingers, which I know is so bad for them, but I just can't go around without nail polish on. Um, anyway, it's a beautiful color and perfect for like if you're doing a French um, or if you're into more natural. Um, it definitely is like your color but better and it has like a blue reflect to it. It's so pretty. So I'm really excited about these. The next thing that I have is probably not going to surprise anybody. Um, I did get the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Uh, I was one of the lucky few who were able to get their hands on one in the first 45 minutes. Um, it was not easy and I was like doing it with Shauna. Like her and I were on there at the same time and we were both like stuck in checkout. But for some reason, I was able to go out and she wasn't. And I'm wondering if it was because she had more than one in her cart and I didn't. I don't know. But anyways, this is her in all of her glory. Um, if you want a video on it, I can do one. Um, if you want my opinion on it because they are coming back. If you want to see an amazing video on this that I could never even top, go watch Raw Beauty Christy and her raw, honest review on it. And she did the most amazing, to nobody's surprise, um, eye look with it. Oh my gosh, she's so freaking talented. I don't know how she doesn't have a million subscribers. I really don't. I just love her so much. She's so freaking talented. Oh. Okay, uh, last two things that I actually have in my possession is are two gifts that I picked out for myself. Um, Andrew and I did celebrate six years on the 27th of June. And so I just picked two things from my list that I really had been wanting. Um, one is makeup and one is not. The first are a pair of sunglasses. These are the key um, with Desi Perkins. These are the high keys and they are the gradient. What are these called? I know they're high keys, but uh, it comes with like a really cute clear case. Um, and then these are them. They're so 
stinking cute. I love these. Um, I haven't bought a pair of sunglasses in quite some time that I like drop a little pretty penny on. These weren't the most expensive that I've ever paid for sunglasses, but they're definitely not the cheapest. I think these are like $60. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're still in stock because when I scroll through Instagram, I can see like ads and it's like Desi, Key, you know what I mean? Collab, get them back get them now while they're back in stock or whatever so I think these are so cute and I'm super happy that I got them I don't own a ton of aviators I think I have like one or two other pairs I have that really pretty rose gold one but anyways I'm really glad that I got these and they're not the same ones that I get all the time they're a little bit different so really really excited about that very thankful again I usually pick out my own presents just because you know boys um, and then the next thing I got is from Chanel. Um, usually for our anniversary, it's like perfect timing when the new uh, collection drops for summer. Um, and so the new collection Le Beige just came out. They have like a cushion foundation. They have um, this bronzer. And it, called, it says a glow luminous. And I got the color light. Um, but this is the packaging and this always comes with that little brush. This is what it looks like. Um, it's a little bit on the peach side, but like I said, it's, a, oh my gosh, the smell of Chanel. I love it. Oh, I love it. So, anywho, that is what I picked. Those two for my anniversary. If you ever want something from Chanel, I suggest doing it from the actual Chanel website um, just because you get free shipping over 50 which most of our stuff is over 50 um, and you get beautiful samples that come in this like really cute little pouch um, I got a mascara a perfume and a anti-wrinkle serum um, and then you get the coolest thing which of course is the beautiful box um, that I just got makeup on but you know what I mean I have like three or four of these now and they're just really nice I like put stuff in if you need storage or to display if you want to be bougie like I am uh, and you get like a really cool gift message what did I even say happy anniversary uh -huh. All right, let's get into the weekly wish list portion of this week's video. I don't think I even have 10 things because, again, when I'm not doing videos for you guys, I'm probably not watching videos either, which sounds really poopy, but <sighs> I'm sorry. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I only have eight. Um, let's go ahead and get started with, did you guys see Jeffree Star is bringing back um, five lip, liquid lips on July 14th. Um, he's bringing back Crocodile Tears, Deceased, which is the one I would totally get. Designer Blood, I think I would get that one too. Watermelon Soda, I own. And Drug Lord, if you are into the colorfuls. Um, next up is something that I am dying over. Uh, if you guys have heard of Bitter Lace Beauty, they are bringing out a palette, um, where you get to design like whatever ones you want. It's like a Z palette, but it's one of those ones that they pop in and you get to pick whatever ones you want to put in there. But it's like a mermaid like tail design. Oh my gosh, I love it. And that looks amazing. It's Mermaid Dreams Collection. So it's on pre-sale right now. Um, if you guys wanted to go give it a gander, it looks freaking amazing. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then, like I said, you get to put whichever highlighters in there. And it is a small run business, which you guys know how I feel about that. Uh, they have like rainbow highlighters. They have just um, pinks or golds or champagnes or colorful ones, you know. So whatever you guys are into, they have it. And it looks amazing. Okay, uh, next up is, did you guys see It Cosmetics is coming out or came out with a blush and it's Bye Bye Pores, which if you're like me and you have enlarged pores, especially in this area, like I would definitely give that a try. I haven't tried the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pore, um, I haven't tried the primer, powder, or the, or, uh, 
foundation, but I, I don't know why the blush is calling my name. I have not tried a new foundation in I don't know how long, and Stila just came out with a new duo that has the um, concealer and foundation like that concealer is super popular the stay all day so it has both of them in one tube which i think is really cool and i would love to try that i don't think i've ever tried a stila foundation and i would definitely do that um on my wish list for this week i have every single ella and mila nail polish i just loved them so much um they have what's called the bonbon collection they have the elite collection and the love collection and so there's like tons of pastels there's vibrant colors if you wanted those they have glitters like I highly recommend checking them out. They are a little bit more pricey than the Essie, which is my typical favorite between Essie and Glisten and Glow. You guys know Glisten and Glow is like my jam, but these ones are seven free, so they're just a little bit more safe, which again, it's not everyone's like, you know what I mean? Typically, I don't take care about stuff like that, but I just tried them on a recommendation from a friend, and I really like the way they lasted um, and the way they performed. They're self-leveling. They have good color payoff, so put those on my list. Uh, next up, Milani came out with two um, new palettes that are popping up in Walgreens that look really, really nice. The Must Have Metallics, and then the next one was like something nudes so I would check those out if I were in what or if I were in Walgreens also speaking of drugstore wet and wild are coming out with new shades of the floral highlighters I do have the two um previous ones the petal and I can't remember the name of the other one but they're coming out with new shades it looks like one's really really light one's kind of uh dark so we'll see about that it's kind of exciting and then the last two things is from pure cosmetics the soiree diaries and the contour diaries number one the packaging is all marble which i am a sucker for number two they look so amazing because the um eyeshadow is definitely more on the neutral side um in my opinion like it's not super warm and it's not super cool it's definitely neutral tone and same as the highlighter or highlighter the contour you have like your yellow tone your peach tone and then your kind of neutral tone and the range of contour shades is, are pretty nice so that is it for this week's sunday funday haul um again i'm sorry i've been gone for so long i am definitely getting back in the swing of things um i kind of want to do a poll and see what you guys really want from me. Um, I know that all of you are going to say story time, which is fine. Um, that's definitely my most viewed video. I believe Sunday Funday Haul is next, uh, but I think I'm going to cut out a few. I just don't feel like my Tutorial Tuesday, like chit-chatty stuff is, you know what I mean, all that I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to do Mask It Up Monday anymore. They're too much work and I don't get enough views for them. Um, so let me know down below what your favorite series is. That way I know not to cancel it. Um, and thank you so much for sticking with me. Uh, let me know what stuff, uh, what new things you guys are lusting after this week. And that's it for me. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.